What's going on? We back. It's the Boxing League of Moore. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. One time for the one time. Y'all know what it is. Shout out to the homie for nine International Boxing Channel. He been grinding. I see. And we back. Shout out to the homie JB from Trap Off Boxing as well. Go follow both of those channels. I fuck with them heavy. But, um, you know, a lot of people get mad about my Mikey Garcia videos and say, oh, you hate Mikey. How do I hate Mikey? I'm not just saying, like, you know, stuff out the blue about Mikey. I'm supporting it with facts, you know. I don't like the way Mikey looking at 140. <laughs> we want me to say, oh, you know, want me sugarcoat it. I know Mikey got hit with a thousand punches that he shouldn't have got hit when his nose was bleeding from a guy with 13 fights. But you know what? He'll be all right. I'm not going to lie to y'all. That's not me. <laughs> I keep it real. I don't like him at 140. Uh, but it's for, this video ain't about that. He keep talking about 47 and Spence. He got Richard Safer talking about, oh, yeah, he can. Yeah, I, no challenge is too bad. Fuck the bullshit. Fuck 140. Fuck 135. Move your ass up and fight Spence then. Get you a little, get your feet wet in your next fight at 47. Then at the end of the year, I can do it in Texas. You can fight Spence. I'm tired of talk, I'm, here, I'm tired of hearing the riffraff and the woofing. You know, he, he fucking woofing. You, you know, you guys talk about Adrian the Problem Broner and how he's a four-time, you know, champion four different weight divisions. Who did he beat? Who the fuck did Mikey Garcia beat? Same thing. I know he got the pedigree. He didn't spar with the best of them, but still. I mean, did he really defeat Orlando Salido? You know, you know, because Lito's coming on hot. I think he still would have beat him. Rocky Martinez, okay. Zinchinian, I mean, I mean, am I missing somebody on his resume? I'm not saying that he's shitty or nothing like that, but I'm just saying that, I mean, he's a good fighter. He's a good fighter, don't get me wrong. But he took two years off and went moved to 35 and caught a couple fights. Now he want to move to 40 when it's convenient for him versus two guys that's very, very beatable. One guy, Adrian Broner, who's been beat before. Another guy, and and um and Sergey Lipiets, who hadn't been tested really other than a condo fight, but he had thirteen fights. So my thing is, if you keep talking and speaking Earl Smith's name, just go fucking fight him at the end of the year. I don't want to hear twenty nineteen, twenty twenty. Fuck the bullshit. You keep saying this man's name. You know, like you want to be laying in bed, you want to put a waiter ring on his on his finger. Like I said, shoot him the fair one. Shit, I'm pretty sure they can pay Ucampo to step aside in June if you really want it. I'm just tired of I'm tired of these imaginary motherfucking uh boxing gangsters talking shit. And I got an issue with Mikey Garcia. You know? You know, they they oh yeah, I fight Earl Spence. You, you ain't gonna do shit. He know he ain't gonna do shit. You know, he ain't fight Vasal Lomachenko. You know? He not fighting Lomachenko. You know, it's a rumor I was watching Fanon real quick today. And it's a rumor that Mikey might just stay at 140. I think that's what he said. Don't quote me on that. You know, but he just said, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, I could beat Danny Garcia. I could beat Earl Spence. I want Terrence Crawford. It's very, very funny how when Terrence Crawford vacated all his titles, you just so happen to move up and fight, you know, Sergey Lipinets after he won his title after that. I find it very, very funny. I find it very, very funny that when Lomachenko moves to 35, oh, I'm just going to stay at 140. But you was going to come back down to 135, right? You know? I mean, shit, if you're going to fight Robert Richard Jr., you should have fought him this fight, then fought Lippy yes, after this, as he got a fight in. You know, it's very, very convenient. I'm, I'm going to tell you guys, it's very, very convenient how he's probably going to swear Regis progress. I'll tell you that right now. He's doing a lot of talking, but he ain't backing shit up. You know, he moved up when Crawford fucking, you know, left the division. You know, you're speaking on Earl Spence, but you ain't even handle, handle your business with, with, with Crawford, partner. Oh, I could be keep Thurman. This dude is using people's names to, to boost his popularity rather than do it with his hands in the ring. And that's what's pissing me off. You know, I could do this, I could do that. But you fought Lippin yet? If you could do all this shit, this master this magical, mystical shit that you say you can do, you fighting Lippin yet? Who is he gonna fight now? Relic? The Relic guy? See, you don't move me if you ain't taking risks. You know? Now if you're taking risks, you fight big names, like you go to you went to 40. You fought, you know, you went to 40, you fought Crawford while he was on top. Or, okay, then you went to 40, you you, you fought Rob Beach Jr. Let's say he fought Rob Beach Jr., you know what I'm saying? Then he fought Linares, hypothetically. You know, okay, damn, he unified. You know, he really did his thing there. Then he moved to 140 and Progress kind of won and got some heat and got some traction going. And he beat Progress. Then I'm like, okay, you know, them risks. I can really see him going to 47 because he's taking the risks necessary to do that. Broner took risks. Even though he lost, he took risks. Let's, let's keep it real on that. He took risks. He would have fought Linares if 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 uh old boy didn't uh, knock him out. Antonio DeMarco. 
That wasn't his fault. But he was whooping on Jorge Linares in the gym. Let's not get it twisted. Peter Quillen seen with his own lies. I can pull up the interview. He said he beat the shit out of Linares in sparring. I can believe it. Linares has never been nothing special. I keep telling you guys that. Look who's his best win. People got mad at me and started calling me names when I did it on Facebook. Who is his best win? And you know you got him when they can't give you an answer. And they got to you know, resort to insults. So I know I got him. Why do I need to respond? Some comments I just want to respond to for what? Like people want me to respond to main man, main man. Why? For what? I put him in this position. I don't have to speak on a man no more. Casual box talk. I don't have to speak on a man no more. I, I respect grind and hustle, but I don't respect, you know, spitting some bullshit. But, but like I said, man, if he, you know, Broner took the necessary risk. He moved up. Two weight classes, four poly, four Madonna, came back, four Sean Porter. You know, he took two big risks. He didn't have to fight Madonna. He could have stayed on the blueprint that Al Hammond for, had for him. When is Mikey Garcia going to break the blueprint and, and fight somebody outside of the bullshit network? Break the mold and fight Earl Spence because you keep speaking on my man's name. Fight him. Prove to us that you can beat Earl Spence. Is it possible? Anything is possible. Anything is possible. Don't get me twisted. He move up, beat Earl Spence? I shut the fuck up. You know, he move down, fight Lomachenko? I shut the fuck up. He fight Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman? I shut the Terrence Crawford? I shut the fuck up. He fight Sean Porter? Eh, I may shut the fuck up. But all I'm saying is... Stop using people's name. He was using Keith Thurman's name. He was using Danny Garcia's name. He was using Terrence Crawford's name. He was using Errol Spence's name. Stop doing that, man. When you know you're not about that life. Your career indicates the top rank moves you well, and now Al Heyman is moving you well. You're not going to break off the path. You're not going to break off the path to, see, to seek resistance in your career like that right now. He's talking about, yeah, I could do this. I could do that. I just read bullshit, man. Real shit. It's factual. This nigga ain't thinking about that right now. He telling y'all that to boost his popularity up, but he won't even get in the same fucking, you know, ring with Earl Spence and none of these guys right now. You know, he won't even get in the same, you know, stratosphere or the same space with Lomachenko, man. Stop believing what these guys are saying. They just pumping themselves up so you guys can keep their name relevant, man. Now, when he make that step up, I'll be here to, you know, to salute him, and then I'll be there to see him when he get his ass knocked out. Y'all know what it is. It's TBC and more. We gone.